Welcome to Gregos TV. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I wanted to talk about those services that are around where if you have a phone device and you ship it off to them and they buy your device, there's a bunch of them around. And I just used two of them. And from what I thought, I sent in flawless looking used devices. And these prices range from basically you can sell them brand new to these companies uh, or you can sell them in really bad broken condition. So depending upon what condition it is, it will be a different price. The better the condition, the better the price, the worse condition, the worse the price. And like I said, they have different companies than most some are on the East Coast or some on the West Coast. Uh, and that's kind of where they are. And they end up allowing you to ship your device for free to them without having to um, pay for shipping. And even if it even if you don't like their price, they'll actually ship it back to you for free. But there's usually differences, like say it's flawless, maybe it'll be 500, but then if it has like a scratch or the battery's bad or whatever, it'll be 400. And if it's broken, it'll only be like $100. So there's different, again, big different price gaps as well. Well, can you trust these companies um, to, first of all, pay you money? Yes, the companies that I used no problems at all. Very communicative in terms of telling me, hey, we received your phone. This is the condition of it. This is what we're going to pay you. And, you know, I knew going in exactly what I was expecting to get. And if they deemed it to be less quality because of scratches or dents or nicks or something didn't work, then I would get less if I accepted less. Otherwise, they would ship it back to me if I didn't want them to. And a lot of these companies also, when you look at the reviews, have really good reviews, usually over 4.5 out of 5, sometimes even higher. And again, I sent in two devices uh, because sometimes it's easier to do this than rather than selling it on eBay. Because eBay, you, either, you gotta wait for someone to buy it. Also, you, I know myself and others that have sold things on eBay, there's a lot more scams going on and the scammers are, are pretty sophisticated now. Uh, they'll go as far as saying they got the device, and then they say it doesn't work. So you have they, they say they're going to return it. But then they return a blank box, a box with nothing in it, uh, with a zip code that is correct, but the address is wrong. And eBay marks it off as delivered. And you, ha you had to pay for the return shipping on that as well. So like eBay can be a little sketchy sometimes. And these services are really easy. You, you know what you're going to get. You ship it off to them for free. And then they pay you uh, via check or PayPal or uh, with Venmo or something like that. So again, I used two, two different services. One was in California. One was in Florida. And can you trust these companies? Whew, they did pay me, like I mentioned, but at the same time, what I thought was flawless, I didn't see any scratches on the screen or the body. And it was weird because, again, maybe I missed it, which is there is a possibility on that, but they look damn perfect to me. They've been in cases the whole time. Um, they haven't been beaten up or anything like that. And every time I sent in a flawless device with perfect battery, and again, what I saw is no scratches on the screen, no dents, no nicks, no nothing, they would always come back and say, hey, there's a scratch on the screen. And they'll even show you a picture of a scratch on the screen. But if you read other reviews, a lot of people have the same kind of issues as well. So again, maybe we're all missing something, maybe we're not. But yes, you can trust them, but at the same time, go in there fully expecting that you're not going to get flawless if you send it in as, you know, basically perfectly used condition. Um, and they're going to say it's in good condition. You're going to lose about $100, maybe less, maybe a little bit more based off the condition that they rate it at. It comes off with a sour taste in your mouth at the end of the day, um, but at least you're getting paid pretty pretty good, um, close to what you would get with eBay with a lot less hassle sometimes. But every time I've done this, I, um, I'm trying to think in the past I, if it's been like that. I, I think it has as well. But the last two times I've just done this, it's come back good when it looked flawless to me. But let me know if you've used these you know, services in the past and what your luck has been. Has it been really good? Has it been bad? Let us know in the comments down below. But I just kind of wanted to give my opinion on these services. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.